morning, hola mundo. Welcome to day two in the Krüger. It's not so early morning today. Normally we wake up in the Krüger at five or even earlier, like four, to go on the morning drive. But today we changed places, so we slept in a bit longer and Marcus is also doing some work. It's around 7 a.m. at the moment and I'm still in our lodge. Let me give you a short tour around the lodge. Behind me you see the bush. Um, it is outside Krüger, near Palaborva Gate, where we stay. Um, and the lodge is called Masorini Lodge. I will link it down in the description. And the cool thing is, it is open. So there are no fences and all the animals that escape from the Kruger, because there is quite a big chance that they escape from the Kruger due to some holes in the fences or yeah, animals just roaming around. So when we arrived, we had impalas here in the camp. Yesterday there was an elephant, we could hear him. And we walked with the owner around the premises. It's a huge stretch of land. So we walked there in the pitch black with our torches and we could smell the elephant poo. We could hear him. We could also hear impalas, but yeah, we couldn't see him. This is our simple and cozy hut. On the terrace there is an open kitchen with a fridge and everything you need fully equipped. And inside it's like a normal room with a big bed, a bathroom and a huge shower. It is a half hour drive to the Palaborva gate of Krüger. They also do have a swimming pool. And remember, why I walk around here, there might be an elephant, a leopard, a lion, or whatever around me. <laughs> a really cool feeling. Squirrel jumping around. And this is the beautiful swimming pool, where sometimes even animals show up to drink. Day two, hello. <laughs> Happy morning. morning today. How is it? <laughs> How is it? <laughs> How is it, my bro? Yeah, we had some troubles finding accommodation. We were homeless this morning when we left our accommodation. But we found an angel at the sound park reception in Palaborva Gate. She found a chalet for us in the park in Satara Rest Camp for two nights. And we are super happy. Afterwards, we will not have accommodation in the park because it's the long weekend, park is getting busy. And we have we will sleep outside the park, but two nights now in the park and at the gates just the guy controlled us and he said, Ah, today no day visitor, today sleeping in Satara. I was a yes, funny guy. So off we go. Every day has a golden moment. We had it this morning. <laughs> in form of the lovely lady, she just said, No problem, no problem, I book for you. From the Palaborva gate today, we will drive up the tarmac to the Sable Height, and from there we will take a short off-road trek up to the Tard Road here and go north first. We will pass Zense Rusti Camp and go to the Moiplas picnic site, and from there we will drive all the way down to Letaba and continue on the H15 further south till we reach Satara Rest Camp. We are at the Sable Height now. It's on a beautiful lake and this is an overnight facility so you can sleep in the height. They have pra facilities, bathroom here, and yeah, looks like an amazing hike. These are beds you can put down and sleep here. It's cool. Not a lot going on here. Some birds. We have a 4x4, four four, so 
we go on a 4x4 track, the first one in Krüger. Amazing! It's just bush around us. It's so amazing, unfortunately. Not so many animals at the moment, but the drive is... Some termites! walking in the bush there is a little information table we are here at the sacred mountain and yeah you can just get out of your vehicle with all the white luck around you which we haven't seen but you never know and this mountain is called the sacred mountain Chikumbu This is Mount Chikumbu. The mountain is 426 meters high and yeah, it was a point where people who came from Zimbabwe, like refugees in former times, like 1600s, uh, they came here and that's, yeah, they declared it a, a holy mountain. It's very, very beautiful. And the mountain is situated right in between the Letawa and the Olifants River. And the people from Zimbabwe who came here and did some holy rituals were called the Pakgalaka people. And they came to this mountain to perform this ritual. You can see it here with Chief Tongo Gara. Another day, another elephant it tries to hide in the shade.
getting a bit tired and hungry towards Mopani rest camp there was a leopard on the road we were both so surprised we didn't catch it on video and maybe I will put in the video a short picture of it I got a quick shot I don't know if it's a bit blurry or if it's good but we saw the leopard right on the road midday in the heat <laughs> for our break time to stretch our legs we are at the Moisplas picnic site that's a beautiful site and it's open so we have just seen the leopard and we are now at an open picnic site interesting there are these beautiful beautiful um, Mopani trees around here really nice give a lot of shade looks like a very decent picnic spot look Marcus is already carrying our food these are the toilets really clean over there there's a place to wash your dishes there are a lot of cheeky birds beautiful birds and there in the lapa we will have our picnic enjoying your picnic After a wonderful break, we now walk to the lookout point and then we continue. Someone is having his bath. What a viewpoint here. That's the Zenze River. Beautiful birds flying. a stop on the Olifants Bridge which is stunningly beautiful in the low sun in the late afternoon sun so we just enjoy the views and we see what we can find there see something Pardon? you see something no.
herd of buffaloes. Amazing. And finally, the sun was nearly setting, we were very close to Satara Rest Camp and there was a traffic tram and traffic tram in the Kruger always means cats and at this time it was lions. It was a pack of young lions lying on the street and observing some zebras. because of the lions but we only had 10 minutes left to arrive in the camp on time before the gates close but we enjoyed every second and just in time the lions went to hunt the zebras and we left and the best for the last a pack of lion hunting some zebras <laughs> The sun is setting like this African sky, lions hunting the zebras and now we have five minutes to go to reach the camp at about 10 kilometers. So hurry up. <laughs> so yeah. It was a pleasure. Great. So if you like the vlog, give us a thumbs up. I think we will finish tonight because we are really tired. Subscribe to the channel and the next vlog will be from Satara Rest Camp. Hola mundo! Cheers! But that was not all. We just left and a few meters later we saw this wonderful Veros owl sitting on the street on the tarmac and eating a rat.